Dallas City leaders are getting pushback on a proposed ordinance to crack down on promoters who put on large parties without required permits. Other businesses say that's going to hurt them. The ordinance was proposed because of a deadly mass shooting at two recent events. Fox 4's Lori Brown joins us with the story. Lori. Clarice, under the proposed ordinance, if a promoter fails to follow the city's rules, in addition to a fine, the violator would have to pay the full cost of the police or fire response needed at their event. Events and gatherings of people do not equal crime. After a lot of focus on two large events that ended in mass shootings, Dallas council members heard plenty of concern from other event organizers. This is an ordinance that has the opportunity to significantly undercut the work that these arts organizations are doing by making the burden onerous, by making the burden expensive, and by making it so that the small organizations that do the things and the small artists that do the things that the people on this council and this city love will no longer be able to do it. The city is still working on details of a commercial promoter registrant fee that would likely be $250 for two years. The ordinance would require a detailed safety plan and a contact person who could meet with city staff on site within a one hour notice. John LaRue is a business owner in Deep Ellum. And while I appreciate that something needs to be done, I don't believe that this is it. Promoters who fail to properly register can be fined up to $2,000, plus the full cost of any police or fire response. Julie McCullough says organizers sometimes don't know if they will have more than 100 people at an event. I was the producer and founder of the largest independent fashion show in Dallas that I started years ago, hoping 100 people would come out and I had a five block line. Kathy Stewart, director of Uptown Dallas Inc, says commercial promoters are drawing in huge crowds, even on weeknights. Many more people show up for the promoted event than the bar can legally hold, creating fights and other public safety issues. Councilman Gay Donnell Willis said the ordinance would not penalize the good organizers, but rather the violators. But this is more um, of a warning and something that's very punitive at the back end. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia says the city needs to act quickly. This is important and urgent for this police department uh, to keep our residents safe. We're not reinventing the wheel and also to help my men and women uh, from having to answer those type of calls when they get out of control. The chair of the Public Safety Committee directed staff to make adjustments to the ordinance and bring it back June 13th. The police chief says his goal is for there to be an ordinance on the books before the city council leaves for their summer break. Clarice.